In today's STL Moms Report, it's my pleasure to introduce you to two heroes, 17-year-old Adele Taylor. Hi, Adele. Hello. And Kayla Tanucci is there, too. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. And, Thank um, you. This is really awesome. Uh, the two of you are real go-getters for your community. Tell us about this uh, situation with Build-A-Bear and how you got involved. Build a Bear is a wonderful organization and I was fortunate enough to have a wonderful mentor who nominated me for the Huggable Heroes, which is a program that Build a Bear founded in 2004 and it's to recognize kids from 8 to 18 about the community service they do in their work. Okay, and then you did what? Um, I did the same thing. We applied. There were over a thousand applicants for the Build a Bear Huggable Heroes um, award and they narrowed it down to the semi-finalists and the finalists. And then there's ten winners, and you are two of those of those winners. And and you both come from you you are from Williamstown, New Jersey. In New Jersey, and you're yeah. from California. Yes. Los and Angeles. so here you are in St. Louis gathering, and you get uh, a real monetary prize with this as well, right? Scholarship money that goes towards education. Yeah. How much is that? That's ten thousand dollars. Oh, just ten thousand dollars. Oh no, it's wonderful. <laughs> to have ten thousand dollars. <laughs> awesome. Oh no, that's <laughs> terrific. Um, so tell me, let's get into what you did individually uh, to help your community. So I am assuming that you are a big reader. Yes, yes I am. And so what did you do? I founded an organization called Adele's Literacy Library when I was 13 in 2008 to empower people about the importance of literacy. And since then, we have um, contributed over hundreds of books. And I recently um, built a library and went to Kenya, which was amazing. Okay. I'm really about that. And you went to Kenya, too. I, hopefully I'll be going soon. I haven't been there oh, yet, you, you but I've been get skyped to Kenya. and seen pictures, so I'm very happy. You're, you're ready that. to go. You seem very motivated. Obviously, you have to have a lot of ambition. And what did you do? Um, I founded an organization called The Shoe Crew, and uh -huh. we collect shoes for underprivileged kids. Um, in just about one year, we've collected over 5,000 pairs of shoes and given them to kids such as orphans, foster kids, underserved youth through um, South Central LA. We've done everything that we can do to help those less fortunate. Tell me what you've learned, um, each of you. What have you learned about uh, what you've done and how you've sort of you know, gathered resources and, and got people involved for this cause? What did you learn about human nature or the power of one person behind an effort? I honestly learned if you have passion, then uh -huh. people are willing to help you. And of course, you, if you have passion, you have a great cause, and that's wonderful because people always want to help you. So passion, I think, is what drives people to kind of motivate and give back. Okay, and teddy bears, I mean, that's kind of a win-win, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves it. So you ended up with about 30 volunteers? Yeah, um, there's about 30 volunteers on this shoe crew. I've learned that one person cannot do it alone. It takes a full team. That's very wise, very wise of you. And it doesn't always start out the gate, you know, being exactly what you want. But if you keep at exactly. it, perseverance is something. So, okay. you know, we have to ask you here, you are 17, you seem wiser beyond your years. You've given a lot to your community. You both deserve this award. Congratulations. And there'll Thank be an you. event later today, right? There'll be a uh, luncheon tomorrow. We'll be honored. Oh, a luncheon tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which you'll be honored. And, and so tell me about your future. What is it that you plan on doing? And it'll be interesting to know that someone that's doing this now, what do you plan on doing yes. in the future? I will be attending Spelman College in the fall to study international studies. And I'm very excited to be traveling the world and, of course, learning. <laughs> And she wants to learn how to speak French and maybe a little in Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, a little Chinese. <laughs> Something. You know. yeah, and Kayla, what do you have your sights set on? Um, I am going to be a senior in high school next year, so not quite sure where I'm going to go to college yet. I'm looking at applying to Berkeley and the Air Force Academy, so okay. two pretty different schools. Okay, and how does it feel to see um, the kids on the other end of this that are receiving all of these uh, good efforts and learning things? It's and how does really, it feel? really cool to see kids that are so like-minded. It's a lot of kids... I mean, if you go to school, you see normal kids, everyday kids, but then you come here and all ten of us are just full of passion for our causes and it's just incredible to see so many different types of projects excelling the way that they have. And so when we hear all of this stuff about, you know, teenagers and how horrible things are, I mean, and there you are, ten of you that are unbelievable. You know, and I'm sure there can be many, many more behind you. I mean, this gives us a lot of hope for the future, doesn't it? Of course it does. And also, it's just such an honor to be recognized by Builder Bear because for us, it's a childhood organization. So we've grown up with Builder Bears of our own. And to be honored by something that you've known for years, it's, it's Really? Awesome. Did this start from the time you were little girls? Oh, you were yes. Involved? I remember voting my Builder Bear, yes. loving it and hugging oh. it and promising <laughs> to always keep in touch with it. It mm -hmm. just... Okay, well, I think that uh, maybe Adele, you should be a politician. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that? <laughs> Somebody told me that once, but I'm glad you said it, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Congratulations.